What is going on members of the Shy Guy Squad? My name is Dan, otherwise known as Donkey, and welcome back to another Citro Quality Wi-Fi battle here on the channel. This time we're going up against Sivirid, which I found on one of the Discord channels that I usually look for battles. Now, if you want to have a chance to be on this opposing side of the battle, be sure to join the Discord link, which is in the description. Next week, we'll be using the Mega Metacham team that I promised you guys, so be hyped for that. But with that being said, let's take a quick look at the matchup. I have my Mega Dino team, as you guys have gotten very acquainted with right now and my opponent is bringing a Lycanroc, Tentacruel, he Heliolisk, um, Haxorus, Chandelure, and a Gliscor. So with that being said, let's just check out how this battle goes, my dudes and gals. But uh, as you guys can see here, uh, Sivrid, we're being challenged by Sivrid. So uh, he's going to lead off with Wild Mutt, which is his Lycanroc day form. And I'm going to lead off with my Hitmonchamp because, you know, he's quite the champion and I predicted this Stealth Rock lead. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go for the Drain Punch uh, while he sets up his rocks. So I feel very comfortable in this position as I'm about to just smack this dog over the face and uh, steal its energy, I guess. I'm pretty brutal for dog, rest in peace. He's going to live on his Focus Sash, which again, I expected it to be a Sash lead. Now what I'm going to do right here, expecting him to stay in and try to get some damage, I'm going to go for the Rapid Spin, which uh, of course, as you guys know, get rid of the Hazard. Then I also knock out this... Uh, I could be potentially looked upon as a threat to my team because I mean it could crunch and stuff could have been scary against my uh, Jellicent in the back So he's gonna send in heat blast right now, which is his shiny chandelure now Switching this thing into it on Chan I am a V but I can't touch it So I'm just gonna switch into flies gone instead because he's there the chance of him clicking shadow ball I thought didn't make sense too much. I mean it's it was a neutral play so he didn't have to play aggressive in any means, but I can switch into my Specs Flygon, but seeing how much damage that did, I'm just like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and gotta go fast. My, um, my, uh, Dodrio, because I figured he was choiced in some fashion. So, he's going to withdraw his, um, nah, Chandelure right now, he switches into Cannon Bolt, the Haxorus, which I'm very okay with, because I get a free knockoff, so I'm just gonna smack off this thing, whatever it's holding. Which uh, was a life orb, so pretty interesting to see a life orb Haxorus. But since I am so fast, I can just click return right here and knock out the Haxorus. So uh, nice and uh, KO for the Dodrio, the tri-headed bird. So uh, nice and early, good lead. And uh, now my opponent sends in Accelerate, good name for Heliolisk, honestly it's kind of funny. But I didn't expect him to be Scarf seeing as Chandelure is it, so I just click Return, and that knocks out Accelerate as well. So Dodrio really showing that it can carry its team on that back of it. Next up comes Heat Blast, and I know he can't click Shadow Ball in this situation. So I think what I do is pull a double into my uh, Jellicent. No, I actually go into Fly's Gone. Interesting. Um, well, he goes... For Fire Blast, like I expected, I do sack off Flygon, Gone, so Flygon didn't do much this match, unfortunately. But um, now I can go into Bloop. Bloop, super safe switch it. He has this thing, which he's going to swap out, of course. He has Ripjaw, which is his Tentacruel. And then he has, uh, what else does he have at the back? I don't remember exactly. But we've been playing pretty well up until this point. I'm going to swap out Bloop because I'm locked into Water Spout, of course. Going to my Steel Type .jp, which is, you know, now .japan instead of .jpeg, which is what it's supposed to be. Uh, he's going to go for a Scald right here. I switched it on a Sludge Bomb, so it was like immaculate plays. I'm going to get a Brox. I don't remember. I think it, well, it was for the Chandelure, and I think it's useful against the last Pokemon, too. I don't remember exactly right now. But getting some leftovers, he's going to get some, not Black Sludge, my bad. Uh, he's gonna go for the Giga Drain though, which I was surprised by. I guess he was predicting some sort of double back into Jellicent, which I mean, he kind of had to make that play to potentially get back into the game, but I had no reason to switch out my Bronzong at all. So I'm just gonna go for an EQ here and, you know, picking up some nice, clean lefties recovery. And uh, what's gonna happen right now is that uh, I'm gonna swap out and now I'm gonna go into Bloop again. I'm gonna go back into Jellicent now. Just, you know, stunt on him a little bit. So I do get the water absorb, I do get the prediction right, and now I'm going to click Shadow Ball. So what's going to happen right here is that I'm going to be a little bit shy of the kill, which is very unfortunate, and he's going to get a lot of health back to Giga Drain because I'm not bulky, and he got he also got a crit, which doesn't really help my case. So now he's, you know, pretty much back to the beginning. I'm going to go into Gotta Go Fast now, my uh, Dodrio, 
as he goes for another Giga Drain. Honestly, I know. I mean, attack wasn't in front of you, I suppose. Uh, but right now, Dodro is back in and ready to claim a soul. So I'm gonna click return real quick, and that is going to be more than enough to take down this Tentacruel, which is a okay. So taking some life for recoil though, of course, and now he's gonna go into Stink Fly, which is his Glitz Score. That was the last Pokemon he had on his team. Remembered. Totally didn't. But uh, it's nice to have, so I'm gonna click return here. I don't know why I didn't go for knockoff. Because I could have gotten rid of this thing's um could have gotten rid of this thing's toxic orb. Which uh, would have been very useful, but I suppose I allowed this thing to do its thing, set up a swords dance, which is fine, he gets the poison off, but he doesn't get toxic heal this turn. Because poison he toxic orb activates after poison heal would have. So um return goes off and it's just shy of knocking out this stink fly. Which means it's allowed to roost. And uh, this is the game we're playing now. <sighs> That's unfortunate. So Poison Heal goes off again, and now he's back at like 65%-ish. So I'm gonna click SD. I'm thinking I'm clicking SD right now just to do the absolute max damage output. And what he's going to do is he is all he's going to roost again to get back up all the way to full, expecting me to attack him. So uh, that's pretty cool. I got a uh, nice uh, clean SD off there, and now I'm just gonna click return at base 102 at plus two from Dodrio. Does a fat chunk of damage to Gliscor. Now, keep in mind, this is a Gliscor. Now, he's gonna click Facade. He's probably the SD Facade Roost Earthquake set, which is a very effective set, but um, it has been unfortunate. But what I'm gonna do right now to make my uh, safest possible play, I'm gonna go into Bloop, which is, of course, Choice a Scarf. And uh, what I can do right now is just click Water Spout because it's definitely gonna knock this thing out. And the thing about the um, Chandelure is it can't go for Shadow Ball because I have an Aldino in the back. It can't really go for Fire Blast because it doesn't knock me out. It doesn't have any grass coverage, or it could, I mean, Energy Ball, but I guess then I have, um, then I have, um, Bronze Lung in the back, so there's nothing this thing can do. So he goes for the trick, um, I guess, I mean, he probably knows I'm Scarf, considering how I outspent. Uh, so he also picks up my Scarf, and then we, a Water Spout away, and that is going to knock out the Chandelure. So we pick up a very convincing 4-0 victory against Silvered. And his or Sivir, or Sivered, Sivered, Sivered? Not exactly sure, but uh, very good game to my opponents. Be sure to check out his links if I can find them. And with that being said, I hope to see you guys in the next battle or video. So uh, talk to you guys later. Peace.